Hello, so welcome back to the final part of this design series. So let's crack on with the actual design. So the first thing we're going to do is actually create a new group. So at the top here, I'm going to click new group and call this uh, footer. And I'm going to create a layer inside. And I'm just going to come down, I'm going to zoom into the document, come down to the bottom, and I'm going to create the footer here. So literally all this is is a box so I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and just going to click and drag out a box like that and let go and the color for this box is going to be the following it's going to be 191B1C so it's just a dark color create a new uh, layer on the top grab the text tool so I'm just going to type in designed by Matt Saunders uh, 2011 and just OK on that. Now obviously the box is too short so I'm going to just click on the layer Control T and then just stretch the box and then just stretch the box out so it fits in like that and then the only real difference here is I actually changed the colour of the uh, the word, certain words which was just the Matt Saunders bit to a red colour so select the portion you want you want to do uh, go to the colour picker and you want to use the following colour, which is CA2F2F, which is just the red colour. Uh, and then select it all, and then just bring the font size down uh, to about 16 pixels, I think it was. And put that in place. In fact, we can just bring the, uh, the box down in size, like that. So if we just zoom out, and then turn off the guides... You can see that the, the foot is in place. I could extend the document a little bit, but for what it is, I'll leave that as it is. Uh, the next thing we need to do is add in the two buttons here. So I'm going to go to the images and go to row one. And I'm just going to create a uh, group inside of here. So just click the group and drag it on the top, which now puts it inside of row one. I'm just going to call this buttons create a group in here, a layer in there, sorry, and you want to go to the rounded rectangle tool and we want to have a radius of about five pixels and the radius is up here and I'm just going to draw out a button shape, I'm going to hold down the shift key to keep it perfectly square and it will probably be about so big and once you've done that we need to give it some styles so I'm going to open up the layers panel here double click on the layer and we're going to give it the following colour so we want to give it a colour overlay now the colour for this is going to be the uh, red colour we used previously so it's going to be CA2F2F then we want to give it a inner shadow so again we're going to go to normal turn off global light I just move this over here so we can see what that's doing. So the distance is going to be zero, uh, the choke is going to be 100, and the size is going to be one. And we're going to give this, so we're going to give it a sort of lighter color. Um, so for this, I'm going to select F04C4C. And we want to give it a stroke on the outside, which is going to be one pixel, and it's going to be a darker color. Uh, than the main colour, so it just sort of stands out a little bit. So if we just select that one there, so E2, so 8E2727, okay that, and if we just click away, you can see here is our shape. So if I just move this over, we want to make sure we're still inside the button layer here, create a new layer, and we're going to create a little arrow. So to do that, we go to the uh, custom shape tool. And we want to click on here, and you'll get all these different shapes. If you haven't got all of these, click on the arrow here, and click on all, and that will load them all up. So we want this one here, so double click on that, and if I just zoom in. So I'm going to click, hold down, shift, just keep dragging out till you get one similar to like that. So here's our first button, probably want to just shift that over slightly, like that. Now all we have to do, if we just zoom out, just to make sure the proportions are correct, that looks pretty good. 
I'm going to just duplicate these two layers like that and then if I zoom in just so we can see this so I'm going to nudge the copy over like that and obviously we need to change the shape of the arrow so select the arrow which is this one control T and then put your cursor to the side hold down the shift and then just drag it so it spins around like that press enter and we've now got that in place as well so if I save that and just zoom out so that's the buttons in place so the final thing we need to do is just add in the ribbons at the top so I'm going to create a new group and call this ribbons now the ribbons are actually downloaded so they'll be available in the assets folder that you downloaded in the first episode so I'm just going to open that up now so file open and here's the ribbon so it's Photoshop uh, PSD so as you can see here it is we can just turn off the background and turn off this one so we just want to duplicate this ribbon group so right click duplicate and we want to put that inside of the photo gallery and click on OK so if we come over here so as you can see it brought that ribbon in so what I'm going to do I'm going to just double click on this and call this one uh, Twitter like that and I'm just going to drag it on top of the ribbons one which will now put it inside of that group so if we just nudge this over like that and if we turn on the guides um, so we can see where it's going to go we'll just zoom in so we want to put this up at the top so I'm just going to nudge it up nudge it over this way slightly so it's right on the line so I'm going to nudge that up but I want to give it the illusion that it's sort of curved over the back of the um, this line here so inside of here at the bottom I'm going to create a, a layer like that now I need to grab the uh, elliptical marquee tool so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more so we can get really close to this all I'm going to do is click hold the shift key so I create just a circle like that and then let go so this is the circle all we're going to do is just select a, uh, a color so I'm going to go down to the color picker I'm going to pick this color in the background and then I'm just going to bring it up slightly so a lighter color and then I'm going to do alt and backspace and that's now filled that shape in so I can deselect it and I've got a circle so all we have to really do is click on the Twitter group and if we nudge this over in fact I've just noticed the problem what we need to do we need to move the circle out of the group so I'm going to click on this and put it on top of the ribbons so it takes out of the group so now if we move the actual ribbon you can see that it goes above this rounded shape so I'm going to zoom in a bit more so what we need to do we need to create this illusion so I'm going to select the circle shape here and I'm going to grab the rectangle marquee tool and I'm going to basically create a line just below it and I'm going to delete uh, what's inside of that selection and deselect so now if I nudge that down one pixel you can see that it sort of connects with the line here and if I grab the Twitter and put that next to it like that you can see that sort of gives the illusion now if I copy this uh, circle layer and if I nudge it to the other side like that just turn off the guides and it sort of gives you the illusion that it's wrapped around the back what we might want to do is actually make it a little bit of a darker color so if I just nudge that in one pixel um, so if we give it a grade a, a color overlay so just copy this color overlay in fact if we give it a darker red color that might give you a bit give it a better illusion like that so I'm going to copy this color okay that and okay that do the same on the other one and just paste that in so that's the first one done what we might want to do if we just zoom out and see what that looks like that's not looking too bad we want to change the text actually so we'll just come over here so grab the text tool click on here and we'll just call this one Twitter and obviously that's a bit too big so we're gonna bring that down to about 10 pixels and then just nudge it in place so it looks right so collapse that down and I'm gonna create a copy of the Twitter one 
and I'm going to nudge that to the left and I'm going to call this one Facebook like that and all we're going to do is just copy the two circles again nudge these two over and then that should sit perfectly next to it like that and all we have to do is change the text from Twitter to Facebook we'll have to bring that down a little bit more because it's a bit longer so if we bring that down to 8 pixels in fact if we bring it down just a tiny bit more like that just pop that in place so if we zoom out and if we collapse all of these down and just get rid of that layer altogether you can now see that we've completed the design and we've got all of the aspects in from what I completed in the first one so we're pretty much finished now the last thing we need to do is add in the stars next to the uh, menu items up here so the way I did this I stole one from over here so I'm going to click on the star and here it is so it's going to duplicate it and then I'm going to grab it and come all the way down until I find the header and I'm going to drop it on, on that which will now put it into that uh, group which here it is so I'm going to click on the red square just change it to white like that so now if I nudge that over you can see it coming so we need to like I said bring this over uh, up we go so I'm going to put this next to the home icon and as you can see it's going underneath that so we need to bring this layer above the text and now that will come over the top so if we click on home here and just nudge this over like that so we're probably going to want to create a bit more space in between each of these so I'm going to grab the text tool, click in the space, just do 1, 2, 3 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3 so we just need to duplicate the star like that, duplicate it again and duplicate it one more time and then I think in the previous one I actually made this one red to indicate this was the page we were on so I just pick the colour from here maybe make it a bit lighter so it stands out a bit more click on that and we are done so if I zoom out that's the actual design complete and it's only taken about an hour I think in total over the four videos uh, so as usual guys thanks for watching uh, in the upcoming series we'll turn all this into HTML and CSS uh, and all of that good stuff so as usual guys thanks for watching please leave any comments below feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video